Hey there, I am back with another deck review, and today we're going to be looking at Circus Playing Cards from Marianne Larson. Now, Marianne Larson is a head manager over at Design Imperator, and over there she's helped to produce and design some absolutely beautiful decks of cards, including the Ragnarok decks and the Helheim decks. If you haven't seen those, go check them out. They're absolute gems of designs. But for her latest theme, she decided to design a deck around a vintage circus feel. She worked with artist Martin Helgren to make the design a reality and launch it on Kickstarter last year. Now the deck comes in two different versions. You have the Deluxa, this red and gold version, and then this more artistic version over here is the Black Mosquito deck. Love the variation between the two decks. Definitely some commonalities that bind them, uh, but a, definitely a very different feel between the two. Definitely, you know, not just a simple color swap. Now that said, let's get into the two decks and we're gonna start out with the Deluxa version. Now, Deluxa is printed on a pearlescent red stock here. A little bit hard to see because it's covered with that foil and embossing. But if I tilt in the light there, you may be able to see that little bit of shimmer that you get from the pearlescent paper. Done in that red with some darker maroon hits in there to give you that classic striped pattern of the circus. And then it's covered with heavily embossed gold foil sections throughout. So this is the spectacular circus playing cards, Deluxa limited edition. Lots of scroll work all the way around and you even get the big top there at the top just sort of crowning the design. Really beautiful shining gold on this and that deep embossing gives you a really rich feel overall to the top. On the sides it says spectacular. That's a little bit of circus advertising style there and playing cards on the other. The bottom has your custom seal. So this is a sticker down here on the bottom made to look like a vintage ticket. Uh, and it has actual numbering here on it. So you can see it's designed by Marianne Larson, printed by NPCC, uh, Noir Arts playing cards. Uh, Design Imperator does pretty much all their decks with them. Uh, and you can see here the seat and total. This is the numbering of the deck. So I got number 646 out of 1850 made. And there's the uh, Deluxa Edition Circus over there. So very cool. I love doing the seal here on the bottom. That way you don't have to cut anything in order to open up the deck. Top says limited edition. Back has a heavily foiled and embossed version of the back design of the cards. Definitely gonna have a different look when we get to the cards themselves. One of the things I love on this one though is how that heavy embossing creates that sort of quilted effect in, this effect in the center. Really great feel to it. As you open it up, you get a little welcome to the avant-garde grand opening. The uh, M, which I assume is for Marianne Larson there on the left, and then a star on the right. And a really cool diamond or sort of argyle pattern running down the entire interior of the tuck. So you get some nice interior printing as well and some shimmering gold. So very nice job on the tuck case. Noir Arts always does a phenomenal job with their embossing and this one's no exception. All right, so that's the deck, but let's take a look at the cards starting with the back design. And here it is. So it's done with heavy, heavy use of gold metallic inks and then that maroon background. So just two colors with the gold and the maroon. And the design is really intricate here in the center. You have this sort of center quilted area with just the crisscross gold pattern and then lots of just scroll work and details uh, just flowing all the way around the edges, finishes out with that big top there, and then reflected to make it a two-way back design. Finishes out with a gold border to the cards. I have to say on this one, I have a couple of knocks against this. One, I don't love the gold borders. I wish they just sort of kept the gold to the center there, maybe left a white border. I think it would have looked a little bit less heavy-handed maybe. And I think this right here is a good bit of just sort of feels like empty space in the center, almost like there should be something there. I don't know what, but overall, it's still a really nice design and that detail work all the way around, just really, really well done. All right, now on to the cards themselves. And we'll start out with the single extra card. So this was a stretch goal, I believe, in the campaign to add this card in there. It's just a bit of an ad card. So presented by Marianne Larson, welcome to the grand opening of Circus Deluxa and Black Mosquito. Enjoy the show and you can see 1,850 seats representing the 1,850 of this deck that exist. 
It's a cool little ad card. Love that it's done in sort of a circus advertising poster style. Very nice. All right, now you get not two, not three, but four jokers on this. Uh, and you get a really cool look at some of the vintage style artwork that's done on these. Uh, these are pieces of art that you can imagine being in like the 1800s or early 1900s on a circus poster. You have the uh, sort of whimsical clown there on one joker. The next one has a monkey playing an accordion. Uh, <laughs> love the little uh, suit that he's wearing with the long coattails. Very cool look to that one. It's probably my favorite. Here's a cool one. I don't, I don't know if this is ever an act that's been, but I would love to see it. Tiger riding on an elephant. And you have sort of a dancing woman here on the last one. So very cool vintage style to them. They just say Joker with the star in the corners uh, and give you just four nice little pieces of art. All right, so there are your Jokers and extra cards and now into the deck. Now all four aces are relatively speaking, somewhat plain. Uh, no big super ornate pips. They all feature relatively simple pips uh, obviously custom, but nothing too ornate on them. Uh, and they're just kind of framed out. But what makes these cards impressive is that background. It has this sort of wallpaper background with tons of scroll work all the way back there. It's It almost has a feel like a watermark across the back. It's maybe a little darker than a watermark would be, uh, but gives a very just sort of ornate feel to the otherwise fairly standard looking pips in the center. Love that they did the uh, four corner indices and pips there. Makes it a nice functional deck if you want to use this for gameplay because you can fan it to the left or the right. You can fan it in either direction uh, and still be able to read the values. So nice little touch there. A uh, little bit of a custom font there with some extra little flourishes on the, on the index there in the corner. But very small pip there as well. So there's your four aces. Number cards follow the same basic pattern. You get that ornate background, pips and indices in the corner, and then relatively standard pips in the center. So nothing too special on these. Some slight differences in the layout, but nothing too out of the ordinary. Black cards are your classic black. Red cards are more kind of a deeper maroon maybe. So uh, otherwise, just nice cards, beautiful border or beautiful background pattern that extends to the edge and gives you sort of a nice fanning effect if you're using these cards or fanning them or whatever. So there's your clubs, probably the most custom of the four pips, and then into the hearts, back to a really standard feel on these. But with most of the design Imperator decks, the real highlight comes with the court cards and the level of detail in the artwork. These are no exception. These are done with two-way uh, courts, and they feature the sort of archetypes of the circus. Some of the performers you might see in the circus, and the artwork is absolutely stunning on this. Just the level of shading and detail all the way throughout these gives you a really beautiful, lifelike image. They are all two-way courts. A little bit of an awkward break, in my opinion, there. They don't really kind of flow into each other the way you see on some courts. It's almost just like a hard split in the center. Uh, but the artwork on them is absolutely stunning. And so you'll see some of the different ones. You have like the strong man on the Jack of Spades, a knife thrower on the Queen of Spades. I really like that one. Love the knife in the mouth. King of Spades features the human cannonball, completely with his twisting mustache. Another one I really like. Jack of Diamonds, you get an organ grinder. Not sure organ grinders were necessarily all that common and in circuses. They were kind of more of a street performer, but a cool look to this one. Love the monkey perched on the side with the, uh, holding out the hat and everything. Uh, Queen of Diamonds features a snake charmer. Love the flow of that snake across the side there. This one, by the way, unlike this one, which kind of had a hard split in the middle, this one has a little bit of flow, a little bit better flow between the top and the bottom. So maybe not a weakness on all of the cards, maybe just some of them. See, like here's back to that hard break in the center. But King of Diamonds features the Ringmaster. Obviously a staple of any circus. Jack of clubs, you get a juggler. That's cool, I love the, uh, the angle of the club pit there. Queen of clubs, this one's the tattoo lady. As you can see her, just the ridiculous number of tattoos across her body. King of clubs, you get a magician. Can't have a good act without a magician. Uh, Jack of hearts, another staple, the sword swallower. 
And then the Queen of Hearts, you get, I'm assuming this is like a trapeze artist uh, with the umbrella balance there. Not a 100% not sure on that one. And last but not least is the Clown. Uh, definitely has kind of a darker feel to the Clown. All the cards have a little bit of a darker feel, but the Clown looks a little bit deranged. So I, I like that. I love that it kind of puts that little bit of a slightly darker, uh, more twisted feel to the court cards rather than going with that sort of happy, cheerful, uh, cartoonish look. But very cool, love the artwork on these. Now, before we talk about handling and uses of the deck, let's take a look at the second version of the deck, the Black Mosquito. Now, right off the bat, you'll see the tuck case looks entirely different. Still features foil, still features embossing, not quite as deep of embossing as the Circus deck, or as the Deluxe deck, uh, but the tuck case has Instead of that pearlescent paper, has sort of a soft touch feel to it, and it features a full art scene across the back. You have the snake charmer and the ringmaster standing in the center. You have that circus cart in the background, and then just explosions of little details all the way around. Uh, you have the name of the deck here, circus, and it's outlined in copper foil. Really like that copper color against that sort of darker artwork of the, of the deck. And then you get accents of embossing and copper foil all throughout the design to help just sort of bring it to life. The bottom, you've got the name of the deck, Black Mosquito, the world-renowned traveling circus. On the sides, playing cards and spectacular. And then the bottom features another custom tuck seal, uh, very similar to the one before. Slight differences, you can see them here side by side. So a little bit of a darker, more weathered look to it overall, uh, but the same numbering. By the way, here's another thing I love. If you get, especially on their Kickstarter campaigns, uh, they'll try to send you matching numbers for your deck, which I think is a great touch. I love that they do that. But there's your two tuck seals side by side. Uh, and then the top, celebrating the legend, the legend of the circus. And then the back here gives you a more vivid, full art version of the back design of the cards uh, done up with foil and embossing. And it kind of has the scene in the background. But we'll look more at those details in a second. As you open it up, Welcome Black Mosquito. And then a little bit more artwork here on the inner flaps and you get some interior tuck printing. Now, while I love the exterior of the, of the uh, tuck, I think the uh, foil here on the inside fell a little bit short. It's really hard to tell because the foiling kind of got messed up a little bit on this one, but these are meant to be some of the sort of animals in different poses. So you like have a posing elephant here. That's supposed to be a seal balancing a ball on its nose but the foil got a little bit mushy on this, so it's a little hard to make out some of those details, but still nice ambitious uh, design element to put on the interior of the tuck. So that's the Black Mosquito tuck case. Now let's look at the cards. Now, some differences obviously in this one. First one's gonna be the back design. So the back design's done almost entirely in that gold metallic ink. Nice shiny feel to it overall. Uh, and then you get a one-way back design that's done with this sort of this weathered color palette, this blue-green color and then the maroon that uh, give a nice little contrast to that bright gold. It is one way because you can see the silhouette of the circus down here at the bottom that's not repeated on the top. Uh, but it's a cool look to it. I like the design here. I think just like the other one, I think the gold's a little bit heavy handed on this one. I wish they had toned back the gold a little bit and kept it more a weathered feel. Uh, I don't think it needed quite that much gold, but it's still a really cool design uh, and a one way design at that. Now, as we get to the cards, you'll see a lot of the same cards here, the same extra card, same jokers. You will see the background now has changed from being, here, I'll get one of these up. So you'll see these were more of a white color. These are a little bit more of a brown tan color, but otherwise the artwork on the jokers, the same, the artwork on all the cards, the same, just kind of a darker, more weathered feel to them overall. So not too much to say about most of the deck, same thing we've seen before, but you do get some fantastic differences in the courts. So whereas before the Deluxe was more of like a player's deck with two-way courts, this one features all one-way courts, full art designs, and you can really see that artwork just pop out in all of its glory. Same characters we saw on the same cards before. So the Jack of Spades was the strong man in the other deck, still the strong man here, but we get a full body design complete with the uh, circus there in the background. It's the same background from one card to the next 
but really just brings all these characters to life. Really beautiful, vivid colors to them and just fantastic artwork on these. Absolutely love them. There's your juggler. We got great art scenes on these. There's the magician, sword swallower, the uh, trapeze artist, I'm assuming, and our uh, twisted clown there. So really love the court cards on this one. You know, the one-way deck makes it a little bit less functional if you wanted to use this for gameplay or something like that. That said, I think it's a great trade-off to get those one, those beautiful one-way courts. All right, so that is the deck. Now, these are printed by NPCC on their, uh, their uh, linen finish, I believe it's called. Uh, and NPCC is not known for their handling of their decks. So they're going to be a little bit less smooth. That's actually not a bad fan there at all. Uh, they fan reasonably well, but they're definitely going to have a stiffer feel. They're just not going to handle as well as like a Cardamundi deck or a USPCC deck. You're going to get a little bit of clumping. Uh, that's never been the highlight of NPCC. In fact, for most designers, I really prefer to stay away from NPCC. That said, uh, Design Imperator has a long-standing relationship with them and has produced some absolutely fantastic decks. So they're one of those companies that I give a pass. Hey, if they keep producing decks with this kind of artwork, I'm all for it. So that's it. Those are the circus decks from Marianne Larson. Absolutely phenomenal artwork all the way around. I think they did a great job with this deck. Definitely one worth picking up if you mix, missed out on the Kickstarter campaign. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this look. Make sure to subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings. Let me know what else you want to see. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't already, check out the link in my description uh, to see the trailer for the upcoming Rattler Gorge deck that I'm going to be launching on Kickstarter coming soon. Anyway, that's it for now, and I'll see you for the next one.